Uh, yeah, no, I, I, that's Carol. That's Carol. Yeah. Yes? Um, can you address the uh, whole process of the casting? Was Faye uh, Dunaway part of the original concept of it? You, you, you alluded to the fact that it was sort of early on. No, she wasn't uh, part of the original, but uh, I, um, I originally wanted either Anne Bancroft or Joanne Woodward to play the model aging and then get a younger actress to play the young part. And then I became very friendly with Faye and uh, almost at the beginning of our friendship she asked me what I was doing and I told her uh, she just knew about my photographs because I had photographed her a couple of times. And uh, she asked me about um, what, you know, what else I was doing. I told her about this uh, script and this story and she just fell in love with it. And she became so passionate about it there was no way that I could uh, think of anybody else now. And at the time, I had uh, hired a Frenchman to uh, write the script. He was writing it at, out in L.A. And, he was, and I sent Faye out to uh, see him. I wanted him to see the actress that I had in mind. And he became very French and said, no, 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 she's terrible. Her eyes are too close together and a lot of silly things. And, uh, and I couldn't really get along with them. Yeah, because I, 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 after he finished the first draft, I said, well, this is what I'd like to change. And he couldn't believe that this first time the director was telling him what changes to make in the script. So I said, okay, goodbye. And I went on to uh, other places. And that's when I found, uh, no, I went to one other writer. And then I found Carol. Another question? I hate them all, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. No, I have Dan and I still talk to each other. We, uh, when she's in town, we have dinner or go to theater. Uh, you know what I mean, like people like, you know, um, last night going to Paris, uh, you know, and, and seeing the films that are so fantastic with these incredible actors that just sort of fall apart or, or you know, sort of, I don't know what they're, it just seems uh, it's so sad. Was that uh, Maria Schneider you're talking about? is fragile, but not that fragile. Right. And she has a strong side to her, and uh, I, I think... Uh, I just wondered if that's something that you have discussions about, or something like afterwards, no. or... I, I don't know if that's not a very no, good, I, I, that's not I, very good well, question. Quite honestly, at the end of the film, we weren't talking. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, I went off to uh, Switzerland to ski, and then she started calling me, and uh, I wouldn't take her calls, and I made her want to call more, so talk, we argue sometimes, it's, uh, and uh, Pacino and I, you know, whenever we see each other, we love each other. I was out in California this year and just had a great uh, dinner with Kitty Wynn from Panic and P and I, and it was just, you know, like old times, we just remember all the little bars that we were studying people, and, uh, uh, you know, it really depends. Uh, everybody is busy. Everybody's working, so you can't really see everybody all the time. And my, uh, although I did about seven films in Hollywood, I'm not a Hollywood director, and uh, I doubt if uh, too many executives even know my name. So uh, my, my uh, career has really taken place in Europe. 